Are you thinking about moving to Hershey, Pennsylvania? Sweet. In this video, we're gonna give you the pros and the cons, the good and the bad, and the yin and the yang of living right here in Hershey, PA. And we're gonna get real with it right now. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in the central PA region, including right here in Hershey, Pennsylvania, then click subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about all of the new content that we create for our channel. I'm Josh, Aaron, the team and I, we get calls and emails all the time from people just like you looking to relocate to the area and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving now or in 10 months from now, Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All of our info is in the description below and we will help you make a smooth move to the area. All right, so you may have seen our last video, which is the vlog of Hershey, where we gave you a tour of all the Hershey amenities, um, as well as took you to some neighborhoods, showed you different price points of homes. In this video, we're gonna elaborate on that a little bit more and we're gonna give you the pros and the cons of living right here in Hershey. And that's gonna take us to our first pro, which is gonna be entertainment and parks. All right, so number one pro here in Hershey, Pennsylvania, as far as we see it, is the parks and the entertainment aspect of this town. This is the only suburb that we're gonna be discussing that it's actually a resort town. You've got the park, as you can see behind me, with the multiple world-class roller coasters. You've got the famous Hershey Kissing Tower, which is a local favorite spot. And this park is known around the world, especially for amusement park enthusiasts. People come from all over the country and all, all over the world to visit Hershey Park. I know myself, I come multiple times a season. We used to have season passes as kids. It's very popular for kids around this area to have season passes to Hershey Park. So there's a lot of tourism activity coming in and out of the park every season. In addition to the park, you've got Chocolate World, you've got the Hershey Theater, the Hershey Hotel, the spa, the golf courses, and the Hershey Lodge, which hosts multiple conventions and concerts and speaking engagements. So there's always people coming into Hershey. It's very much a destination town. So having the park here is a wonderful thing. There's a beautiful water park and all the amazing rides and experiences that you'll have in Hershey Park. The residents here of Hershey can experience that all the time. On the flip side of that, and maybe we are getting into a little bit of a con here, that influx in population density through tourism, the influx of, of pricing when the prices get raised during the tourism seasons, uh, and just the constant in and out of people visiting, the, whether it's the parks or the medical center or touring productions for, for concerts and events. There's a lot of movement in and out of Hershey by way of, uh, of the entertainment aspect of the town with tourism. So it's one thing to keep in mind if you are moving to the area, you have access to these great amenities, but sometimes it can get a little crazy and busy with all the tourism and population increase. So number two pro for us is quality of life here in Hershey. Now I know we've been showing you a lot of stuff, so it's probably plain to see that the quality of life here is very, very good. It's a resort town. You've got resort amenities, spas and golf courses, great restaurants and hotels, of course the parks, entertainment, shopping. But you also have incredibly beautiful, quiet, safe, well manicured neighborhoods with absolutely gorgeous homes which date back to uh, the 1920s and 30s. You have great schools that perform well all across the board, got great job opportunities, you've got the medical center close for world class health care. And every amenity that you can imagine is within a short distance of here in Hershey. People come from all over the area to Hershey to enjoy this quaint adorable little chocolate town. So with that said, that rounds out the number two spot for us in terms of pros here in Hershey with quality of life. Now with that said, you are paying a premium. We've seen that, right? The, the lowest price house that we found on the MLS in this area is $310,000 for really a small cottage style home. You can look around me, some of these homes are well over the million dollar mark and that's, that's gonna be pretty typical for this area. So if, you, if that's a priority for you, if quality of life is something that is at the top of your list as well, then maybe you can afford that higher end home and in the higher end neighborhood and all that comes with it. 
So as most things, the good sometimes come with the bad, but I'll tell you, it's just so pleasant walking around the, the streets of these neighborhoods and hanging out on Chocolate Avenue and enjoying all the things that this great town has to offer. So that's why we put quality of life in the number two spot. Okay, that's gonna lead us into our next pro, which is going to be schools and education. Let's first start with Milton Hershey. Now, Milton Hershey School is a private co-educational boarding school. It was founded in 1909 by Milton S. Hershey, the founder of Hershey Chocolate Company, as well as his wife, Catherine. The school's mission is to provide a quality education for children from low-income backgrounds. The school is open to students from pre-K through 12th grade, but to be eligible for admission, students must come from families with limited financial resources. The Milton Hershey School is actually pretty large. It spans over 2,800 acres. It includes academic buildings, residential homes, and recreational facilities. The students at Milton Hershey School live in homes with trained house parents who provide care and guidance. Each home accommodates around 10 to 12 students of the same age and gender. The Milton Hershey School is fully funded by the Milton Hershey School Trust, which was established by Milton and Catherine Hershey. As a result, the school is tuition free for accepted students. The trust covers the cost of education, housing, meals, and other necessary expenses. Overall, niche.com gives Milton Hershey a rating of B plus and also very high ratings on greatschools.org. All right, so the public school district for Hershey area will be Derry Township School District. It serves the communities of Hershey, Hummelstown, and kind of the surrounding area. It is a K through 12 school. Greatschools.org gives it a score of eight out of 10 overall and 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Niche.com gives Derry Township School District an overall score of A+. Also ranks at the best school in Dolphin County, as well as the number 21 out of 495 school districts in the entire state of Pennsylvania. You can review all the information I went over here, along with other school districts in other towns and cities in the state, on places like Niche.com, as well as GreatSchools.org. All right, so another pro of living here in Hershey is going to be the job opportunities. Between Hershey Entertainment Company, the Park, Zoo America, Chocolate World, as well as Hershey Chocolate Company, the labor positions there, marketing positions there, the, the science side of all that, as well as the medical center, the Hershey Hotel, the schools, there are a lot of opportunities. Um, Regardless of your experience level or, or your area of expertise, there are a lot of job opportunities here for you. If you don't want to live and work in Hershey, if you want to commute to Harrisburg, there's positions with the state, with the Commonwealth, as well as the county, and there's so many remote positions uh, as, we, as we all know now. With that said, there is a con to that. That would be the cost of living is a little bit higher here in Hershey. As we showed you earlier with the home prices, uh, as well as goods and services. So a night out for dinner and drinks might cost just a little bit more than it would maybe in Lebanon County or in Dauphin County, for example, in Harrisburg. But again, what balances that out are the opportunities for jobs in the area, regardless of your experience or background, confident that, that somebody can find something here. The whole town is built around tourism. So ho hotels, restaurants, retail, again, the parks, the entertainment aspect, all things considered, a lot of opportunities for job seekers here in Hershey. Okay, so our last pro of the day is going to be healthcare. Now, there's numerous healthcare providers in and around the Hershey area, but Penn State Health Milton S. Hershey Medical Center is probably one of the best in the area. It serves as a primary teaching hospital for Penn State College of Medicine and is part of the larger Penn State Health System. The medical center offers a comprehensive range of medical services like primary care, family medicine, internal medicine, specialized care, surgical services, women's health, children's health, pediatrics, and 24-7 intensive care. The medical center is actively involved in medical research and innovation, and it houses various research centers and institutions. Now, we at Living in Central PA team have worked with many clients that have relocated to the area for jobs in the medical field, including right here in Hershey. If you are a medical professional moving to the Hershey area, 
please reach out to us. We can help you get acquainted with the local resources that you need to help you make a smooth move. All right, so before we end this video, we're gonna give you a quick market update. It just turned June a couple days ago, so we're gonna give you a market update for May, and we're gonna compare that to last May, like we usually do. I'm gonna hop over the computer and do it right now. All right, so if we take a look at the screen here, I have statistics up from May 2022 until May 2023, which was last month. And we're just looking at the county of Dolphin, so Dolphin County, Pennsylvania. Units listed, last month, 355 units listed. The year prior, 445 units listed. That's about a 22% reduction from the previous year. The same thing when we look at units sold, 257 last month, 329 the year before. That's also a 22% reduction. But overall, I believe it's getting better month after month. If you saw my report from, from March of this year, we were at around 29% reduction from the previous year. April's was more like 25. Now we're getting down to about 22. So seeing signs of it you know, kind of picking up a little bit. Um, the good news here is if we check out pending sales, 320 last month, 350 the year before. That's only a 9% reduction. So that's, that's a good sign for the month of June because these pending sales will kind of turn into sold units for the month of June, which will give June better numbers overall. Now, if we look at last year, right around this time, interest rates started creeping up. Um, they went from the 3% range, I believe last year at this time, really 4.5%. Edging the way to five percent, and I believe people got kind of sticker shock. You know, they saw rates going from two point seven five three percent up to six percent, seven percent. So it kind of halted sellers and uh, kind of knocked some buyers out of the market. Now I believe people are kind of getting used to the interest rates. Um, and technically, they're they're not that bad. I've been in the business for about 20 years. I've seen interest rates in the sevens, eights percent range. And I've actually refinanced people down into the fives and they were very, very happy. So overall, with the, with the numbers that I've seen, not bad. It's heading in the right direction and that's a good sign. So we're gonna check back in with you next month and give you a market update for the month of June. So we'll see you then. All right, so we hope you enjoyed this video on the pros and cons of living here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hershey is one of my favorite towns, not only in central PA, but around the country. I mean, I've been all over and I, I just think this is such a cool place. So we had some trouble finding some cons, but just a quick recap. We talked about the access to the parks and entertainment here. The con of that being seasonal tourism, traffic, things yeah. like that. We also talked about the quality of life. The quality of life, um, and but with that comes the higher home prices and things and things of that nature. Uh, we touched on uh, employment opportunity. There's a lot of employment opportunity around here, but then you have higher cost of living in Hershey. Uh, we also touched base on education, as well as um, the medical the medical care, the yeah, access to uh, Penn State Milton Hershey Medical Center, the Children's Hospital there, the cancer research research opportunities. Uh, as well as you know the great schools uh, that uh, the children have access to here in Hershey, as Aaron said. So we really we really had a good time doing these videos here. Yeah, as you can probably tell, I mean we uh, we we take our work seriously, but we also try to have a good time and show you that if you're moving to the area, there's a lot of fun stuff to do for you and a, and a great life awaiting you here in Central PA. With that said, if you're moving to the area, whether it's here to Hershey or Mechanicsburg or Enola or anywhere in the area, please reach out to Aaron or myself, anybody on our team, and we happy to help you make the move to the area. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure you subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about the current market right here in Central PA. Again, this is Aaron and Josh with the Living in Central PA team. Until next time, keep it real.